shad tubes, minnow tubes, soft plastic grubs. Get serious about trout and landlocked king trolling with serious soft plastics from the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store. heavy. Hard to tell in this wind. I don't think I had that grub on there for maybe a minute or so and he was just all over it. Dang wind came out of nowhere. It's a challenge to control the kayak here. Oh this is a hefty fish with a bend in that rod. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh. That. Look at that beautiful Lake Davis rainbow. It's a couple pounds, probably 16 inches. Nice fish. Jumped all over, all over that larva colored grub. You know, they, they feed on a lot of insects at Davis, and uh, that grub's pretty good match. All messed up right now. But uh, that tiny little hook had him right in the tip of the nose. No way he was getting away. Awesome. Little grubs. Big results, man. Uh, get this guy in the cooler and uh, get this grub back in the water. Howdy, folks. You guessed it. We're going to talk about trolling with grubs today. Um, grubs are flat out one of the most versatile lures that you can use when you're trout trolling and that's why I love them. You know, I caught that nice rainbow up at Lake Davis a few days ago on one of my small larva colored grubs because that's a bug leg. That's what they expect to see, you know, small bug colored stuff and that worked great. Now, a few weeks back, you might have saw me catch this, this fish on the channel. That's a big old four pound Lake Shasta Rainbow, that fish was 101 feet deep feeding on shad and I was using one of my three inch firecracker colored grubs. Great shad imitation, I put a lot of pro cure on it and next thing you know man, I had that fish on the end of my line. So versatility of grubs. Grubs are baits that can be trolled slow, medium or fast. Most guys like to troll their grubs relatively slowly but uh, believe me, you can mix them in your spread with Rapalas, Speedy Shiners, stuff like that. They look a little goofy when you troll them fast. They've got a fast spin and the tail's working like crazy. The fish don't care. So fast, medium, slow. It's a lure you can pair with any kind of presentation. You can run them alongside of wedding rings and worms at one mile an hour. You can run them at 2-2 with a cripple lure on another rod and you can run them with your Rapalas, your Speedy Shiners, your bigger spoons. So versatility man, that's what I'm into. And uh, speaking of versatility, I want to show you this hook. I just discovered these. Now I like to rig my grubs on an up eye, you know, octopus style hook. But check this hook out. This is an English carp fishing hook. It's an up eye octopus style hook, but I'll show you what makes this hook unique. And uh, you can find these on the web. You gotta look for carp fishing hooks. If you look on the shank of that hook, right, right in that area there, there are two bait holding barbs. Now those carp guys, they like to fish with dough baits. So those bait holders are on there to hold the dough ball on the hook. Well, they do the same thing for a grub. So let's talk a little bit about grub rigging. Um, you can team grubs with flashers. You can team grubs with dodgers. That all works, but the number one way to fish a grub, for me anyway, because I'm always trying to be kind of stealthy when I'm fishing a grub, whether I'm going slow, medium, or fast, I like to run grubs naked and alone a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. That big fish at Shasta, I was running some of the Max Lure Mylar flashers, um, but that fish I caught up at Davis, just running a straight, plain grub right under the surface. I think I was down maybe 10 feet, something like that. So, here's how you rig a grub. You hold up a grub, here's that firecracker grub. I really love this for bait fish legs. 
you'll notice, see the natural curve on the tail of that grub? You always want the hook coming out the opposite side. It's as simple as this. Take that hook, take that grub, stick that hook right in the nose of the grub. Try to keep it right in the middle as much as you can. Work that grub down the hook, right down there. And I'm gonna pop it out right near the tail, just like that. So right now I'm right at that point. Now I'm gonna squish that grub up over the hook and uh, that's it. Get that tail back there. That grub is rigged and ready to go. Now, because the tail on a grub is, you know, all laced to one side, that thing is gonna spin. It's gonna spin if you troll it fast. It's gonna spin if you troll it slow. So you always want to pair a grub with a quality trolling swivel. And that's especially true when you're running one naked. That's 10 pound test fluorocarbon. That's about right. The trout can't see it. Um, there's still a lot of strength there because this is a big fish presentation. So anyway, don't go below 10 pound test. You won't have any problems with snapping off fish or anything like that. Um, it's just a great subtle presentation. If you're not using grubs, you should be using them this fall. They're gonna put a lot of fish in the boat for you. Um, as often as not, I've got a grub on, on my line or one rigged on a rod in the boat or in the kayak. And it's just something that I fall back on when I really need to get a hook up, I put on a grub. Um, it's kind of my, one of my last ditch offerings before I go to that dirty old threaded worm, which uh, as you know, it always works, almost always works, but a lot of times I don't have to go there because the grubs, they're just about as effective, especially if you smear some Procure on them. Now, if you're in the market for some grubs, I do offer a great grub kit in my store. You get, a, get the three inch grub in three colors, you get the firecracker. You get the pink cotton candy color, rainbow trout killer. And uh, for the high Sierras, you get the cherry bomb, the red flake color. And in terms of smaller grubs, you're gonna get the smaller two inch larva colored grubs and you're gonna get the smaller two inch ghost minnow grubs. Um, the ghost minnow are great at bait fish lakes when there's small bait around. The larva colored grubs, well they work at bug lakes, you know, Eagle Lake, Davis, French Meadows, places like that where there's a lot of insects in the water. Um, you're gonna get 25 total grubs, a couple of our side winder dodgers and we're gonna throw in a Gibbs Diamond Dazzler uh, Schnelled spinner as well. So go check out the Fish Hunt, uh, Fish Hunt Shoot store if you're in the market for grubs. Um, but uh, whether you get them from me or get them from Sportsman's Warehouse or wherever, there should absolutely be grubs in your tackle box this fall because they flat out catch trout. And uh, with my grub kit, I've kind of tried to press all the buttons in terms of size and color. And uh, hey, you saw it work for me at uh, Shasta, and you've seen it work for me up at Davis now. So anyhow, I'm Kel Kellogg. I am signing off. Get yourself some grubs. I will catch you later right here on YouTube. Um, I'm actually going to go take Lucy for a walk right now. And uh, you guys have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a penny. If it wasn't for you guys, remember, we wouldn't have a fish hunt shoot YouTube channel. Get your grub on. Get some trout. Catch you later, guys. This is Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off.